John Brown's raid was an attempt to create a slave rebellion led by John Brown in 1859 in Virginia. John Brown was a white abolitionist who vehemently wanted to abolish slavery and was involved in two other key events before the Civil War. One of the events was the Underground Railroad, where he was a conductor. The other was Bloody Kansas, where he killed five white slavery supporters in the town of Pata, Wyoming. John Brown's raid started on October 16 and ended on October 19, 1859. John Brown raided a federal army arsenal that stores weapons in Harpers Ferry in West Virginia. In 1857, John Brown raised money for a slave rebellion he had wanted to create. Before John Brown had started the raid, he rented a farm in Maryland so he could prepare for his raid. John Brown had 21 followers, including three of his sons, made a plan to raid a federal arsenal where weapons are stored. They needed the weapons so they can give them to the slaves. When John Brown raided the arsenal, they had captured hostages. In the morning of October 19th, John Brown and his followers were trapped because a group of U.S. Marines had captured John Brown and some of his followers, but 10 of his men were killed, which included two of his sons. U.S. soldiers went to capture John Brown, and one of of his soldiers was shot and killed by John Brown and one of his followers. John Brown was put on trial and charged for stealing from the U.S. military and murdering a U.S. soldier. On November 2nd, he was found guilty and executed by hanging on December 2nd. Before John Brown was executed, he wrote a note that said, I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. This quote is saying that John Brown was predicting that there would be, have to be death to solve the issue of slavery and finally abolish it. John Brown's raid divided the country and helped make the slave states want to secede from the U.S. The free states had very divisive views on John Brown's raid as some people saw his raid as a crazy act, but others thought of it as a courageous act because they think of him as a martyr, someone who dies for their beliefs. The slave states were afraid of other rebellions occurring where armed slaves would kill the slave owners. One similarity between Blood of Kansas and John Brown's aid is that both events were trying to help the slaves make an uprising against their slave owners. Another similarity is that John Brown's aid and Natural Rebellion both divided the country because the slave owners were afraid of being killed by their slaves. Another similarity is that at the end of the rebellion, Brown and Turner were both secured by hanging. This event is different because Matt Turner was a slave while John Brown was a white abolitionist. Another difference is that Natural was more successful than John Brown because Natural they killed white slavery supporters, but John Brown was captured.